The best way to avoid the expense and frustration of a stolen vehicle is protection. Rapid Radio specialise in car audio and security systems. This is Rob from Rapid Radio. Rob, why is it important for people to start thinking about car security? There's so many cars being stolen. We're getting over 100 a day in Auckland alone are being stolen from our streets. Um, there's 365,000 cars a year. I mean, that's a huge amount of being sold, and there's five times that have been broken into. What type of security systems do you have here at Rapid Radio? We've got everything from the entry-level units, which are starting for around about $100, right up to something that's about four or $5,000 with full GPS tracking and navigation capabilities. Is that enough to stop the most determined thief? 99% of thieves will be put off by a system like that, but at the end of the day, if a person really wants the car, they can just tow it and take it. But what the GPS allows you to do is catch up with them afterwards, and then the police can apprehend them. Or yourself. Damn right. Yeah. Let's go check out some of these systems. Let's do it. Well, this is basically the standard Mercedes-Benz central locking system with a horn output. So what happens is if a door or a boot or a bonnet is opened, the factory horn on this car will sound and the lights will flash. This is where our basic upgrade starts from. And then we hook up a thing like we have here, which is a glass brake sensor, which is the only thing that the factory company hasn't added into their system. So this covers us now for if the door's open or if the glass is smashed, the factory horn will then be sounded. I'm a thief. I've managed to break into your car. The alarm's going off. What's to stop me from driving the vehicle off? This one in this vehicle has immobilizers. Basically, immobilizers are off-board immobilization circuits. So they actually will cut or disconnect a circuit from the car that would normally allow the car to run. So normally like a fuel pump or ignition. So it will just stop altogether. Why, the car will not move? start. In this vehicle here, we've got the ultimate. We've got a top-of-the-line alarm system with full battery backup sirens, over six points of immobilization. We've got glass brake sensors, tilt sensors, and shock sensors. We've even got a full GPS system from Snitch. There's nothing much more than you can get in that. Sounds good. Show me how it's done. Come with me. So as you can see up here, we've got some of the parts that are in this vehicle. Um, we'll start off first with, this is an internal piezo siren. Uh, this unit here is mounted internally and adds to the volume of the noise in the vehicle. Very screeching and hurts your ears. Um, this here, we have a tilt sensor. This picks up any lateral movement of the vehicle. So if, once the vehicle's parked up, if it gets jacked up, say someone's trying to steal the wheels or towed away, this unit will set the alarm off, so set all the sirens off. You then move on to the trusty glass brake sensor, which we saw before. This unit here is a high frequency microphone, which once again, if it detects high frequency sounds like breaking of glass, sets the uh, alarm system off. And last but not least, we have the trusty battery backup siren. Now this unit here has a battery built into it. If all the power cables and so forth are cut, or the alarm is disconnected somehow, this siren will keep going for at least one hour. And then the piece de resistance of the whole system is the Snitch GPS unit. What's a GPS system? Basically a GPS system is a global positioning system. This allows you to find your vehicle. So if you were to text this system, this unit here from your phone, it'll text you back with, as you have see here, the location of your vehicle right down to its street address. So if the alarm is set off and the car is stolen, you'll be able to find the location of where the car is. Sweet. Thanks, Rob. I now have all the information to make the right decision when it comes to car security. After the break, we check out what it's like to be a midwife and we have a great game of paintball. So, Matt, after all this, what kind of car do you drive? Do you have anything for a push bike? Spokey dokies. Oh.